the White House, and then they go through the revolving door, then they get a million dollar, two million dollar payday by going going to K Street. It's legalized bribery. It's not illegal, but it's obviously a problem because it's a big incentive for people to do bad things on behalf of industry. Do, I mean, this is this is something that you're basically describing uh, with the pharma deals, which you know so, people. Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't lim- please, it wasn't limited to pharma. Well, of course, why, of course. Why in the a- hell a- was SIU there? What did they get in return? They had nothing to offer up. They are just simply there as a taker, not as a not as anyone who was bringing anything to the table. At least pharma came and negotiated in good faith. Said, "Look, you got a problem with the donut hole. We will fix that with pharma money, not with government money, but with pharma money." So you might argue that that was uh, that was something they did that was on on the whole a positive. Well, just the last question then: What's what's the best way to reform this? I mean, you, you're 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 Look, picking better, at this one thing, better, better but what's mind, the structural reform? Better minds than I have worked on this for a long time, and they've been unsuccessful with coming up with anything. All I know is, unless they make that information available to me, I've got no way to assess it. So the next step is, in fact, an impossibility. They're asking me to say, how do you fix the problem when the White House will not even disclose to me those documents that entail what, what went on in those discussions, who was there, who was at the table, who gave up what, who got what. Right now, I don't know. I'm just but, purely conjecturing, just ra- as you're doing. Radical transparency, both for the Medicare Part D special deals and for this health reform special deals. Look, you know, the, the, when that at least solve part of the problem. Well, it might, but you know, Medicare Part D is now what eight years old. The health care law is, is something that just. But we, we have the deficit because of it. We still live with that, right? Um, I would disagree on that. The Medicare you Part D. You don't think D, drug reimportation or negotiation for dr- drug prices drug would save money? Drug reimportation would have killed people by the thousands, and you know that. Oh, Look I at don't the problem that. we're having today. But even why, with, why aren't there even with the act, of, uh, active pharmaceutical, even with the active pharmaceutical ingredients that are legitimately reimported. Look at the look at the heparin problem from but China. Tim There's Pawlenty, no, a Republican, asked, yeah. "Where are the dead Canadians?" Who are you? It's my colleagues. Sorry, I'm talking to him. <laughs> that reimportation. We can we can rehash that argument.